Hey guys, how's it going? Why is everything I like really expensive? It's really annoying. Actually, Morphe is not expensive and I love Morphe. Okay, today I'm talking about Glam Glow Thirsty Mud. I have this little sample here. This is about the fourth one I've gone through. I finally bit the bullet and just ordered one. I still ordered the little size, which was a 0.5 ounce one. What is this one? This is 7 grams or 0.24 ounces, so I ordered one that was double the size of this. I got about, I want to say, 7 applications out of this guy, um, and I'm pretty liberal with it, so I'll get a lot out of the 0.5 ounces. The 0.5 ounce, ounces um, at Sephora is, I think, $19, and the 1.7 ounces is $69, so it actually works out about the same ounce per ounce if you buy either one of those, and you can do a little cost savings <laughs> immediately just by buying the smaller one I think it sucks because you have to buy more packaging um, if you keep getting the smaller ones but it also keeps it a little fresher the one thing I will say about this stuff is that like it got caught up in the edge here and it like hardened into like a hard film and I had to like puncture it to get more out so it will dry out so I kind of actually recommend getting if you're gonna get like the little pot of it get the smaller one because I feel like if it dries out you'll be out a lot less money um, I think you can revive them though. You can revive most Glam Glow stuff um, just by adding water. Anyway, the actual review part of this, um, besides all the pricing, which I will also leave, I think, links down below to support and stuff for you. Um, the stuff is amazing. <laughs> uh, so I have a dry patch up here, um, as you all know. Um, my, high, my skin is dehydrated, generally, because I don't drink enough water. I drink a lot of water, but apparently I don't drink enough because every esthetician is like, wow, your skin's dehydrated. Um, so I'm trying to do stuff about that. Um, it comes out, I don't know if there's any left in here. I think we should try, okay, we could probably see actually in there. It has this weird like peach colored goo. It will sink straight into your skin. Um, yeah, I'm almost out of this. I think that was the last use last night. I might have, this guy's gonna go in the empties. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's a peach colored goo. It feels very thick, very heavy. You can put it on your skin and you have the option of either just rubbing it on in when you're done. You can just leave it on your skin for 5-10 minutes. I leave it on longer sometimes. Um, you can either just rub it right on in your skin and go to sleep with it on or wear it for the day. Or you can leave it on for like 15 minutes and rub it in as well, best as you can and then just wipe off the excess and go on with your skincare routine, which is actually frequently what I do. Um, you don't want to put on too thick of a layer because you're just going to waste product, um, and this stuff is awesome. This stuff is crazy hydrating. Um, every time I use it, my skin feels like a million bucks after I'm done. I like Glam Glow, and I hate that I like Glam Glow. <laughs> They're, uh, what is that? Black mud stuff? The the one that, like, <laughs> everything out of your pores. Like, if you have black blackheads on your nose, just put that on your face. Seriously, awesome. If you've got excess sebum, that stuff <laughs> will suck it all out of your face. Um, pretty much all of their products are kind of amazing, and pretty much all of their products are like 70 bucks. <laughs> so I tend to try and, and get samples whenever possible. This is no exception. The Thirsty Mud is the most hydrating stuff ever. For those of you out there, um, I know a couple of you. Aaliyah, hmm, this might be for you. Um, yeah, a couple of you out there complain of a very dehydrated, very um, dry skin. I'm telling you, a few times a week with this stuff will do it for you. I really like it. It's um, I mask a lot, like a lot, a lot, like several times a week. I will mask and I will do paper masks, I will do mud masks, I will do this kind of jelly mask. I will do um, masks that come in weird syringes from Japan and Korea. <laughs> like whatever, I'll try it all. Um, because I feel like it does actually like do a lot for your skin to like just push it in from both sides. You should be drinking tons of water and you should be pushing it in from the top. Um, and also when you do a lot of harsh stuff, like you go outside and I live in California and the air we breathe causes cancer. I mean, like I don't actually believe that, but there's a lot of crap in the air here. It's very dirty, like my car's dirty in like one day. Um, and it's getting on your skin too, like all that crap that's on your car, it's on your face. <laughs> like, kinda, if your car's just sitting in the driveway, you go outside for all day, you're gonna be dirty too. We do a lot of harsh stuff to our skins. We put like all manner of things on it that are sort of hard. Even SPF is kind of harsh on your skin. So you should pamper it a little bit and give it things that'll make it really happy. So that's why I mask. This is now a staple in my mask routine. Thumbs up, hooker lips approved. Anyway, 
I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope this was helpful. Um, my social media links are going to be down below for you. If you have any comments or questions, please go ahead and um, leave them. If you use this and love it, let me know. And if you use this and hate this, let me know because it's good for me to know what kind of skin uh, hates this. Um, I have oil. Uh, I have normal to combination skin. Um, I have dry up here and oily here. This does not aggravate the oily at all when it is oily. Um, yeah. I just find it to be really great. I find all of their products to be wonderful. I hope you guys are having a great day. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!